Six eco learners are about to go on the biggest journey of their lives as their conservation adventure takes them from their classroom and into the wild. They'll experience nature like never before, discover how to look after the world they live in and be inspired to share their stories with others. This is Eco Club. My name is Togo, so I'm 13 years old. I'm doing grade seven as I'm to the primary school. I love jokes. I love playing. I love playing in this world, but I'm not as good as it. And she's my friend. We started being friends at grade six class. And I think she's not shy. And she's very clever, more than anyone in class. I love her. She understands me. And we do jokes and laugh together. The first task is planting indigenous trees for the biodiversity garden and learning a cool trick to water them in the drought. As you can see, there are plant trees. The teachers know about these trees. So I'm going to be telling you about this very special tree. In English, lavender tree. In Zulu, umkuze. We dig a hole and we put some manual and soil, manual soil, and I think five times. Then we, then, then we put the tree and we cover it with soil and manual and it was wonderful. Now that we've got the tree in the right place in the middle of the hole, we need to make sure that it's going to be getting enough water. So can you see this bottle? It's got holes in it, right? Yes. So we're going to be using that for watering. Because you want the, if, if we pour water, you want the water to go straight in the roots. Then it is better if we're planting the trees and it makes us happy. Dogozo and her friends really enjoyed the uplifting gardening experience and shared a moment together. Now it's time for the big adventure. I was very happy when I see the green grass coming. I was just excited. And I've been so happy in my life like that. When we get into the bus, we are singing, dancing songs, just enjoying our first day going to the game results. <laughs> when I fetch so so the tent that they show us that is our tent, we open to the zip. Wow, bed, bathroom, shower, we're very happy. The clouds are thick and rain fell all morning. After it cleared, everyone was out to start the Eco Club activities. Our activities highlighting uh, the importance of uh, the learners understanding the connectiveness of all forms of life. I think we highlight that very well with the game of the food web. I know a little bit, but I didn't know that animals conflict each other. If these animals or something die, it will affect the other animal. Like if, if, the, if the grass dries, if it will affect the zebra and the zebra if dies, it will affect the lion. Just like that, it's a different chain. My day would be a very beautiful day if, if maybe there will be sunshine. So, it is raining, cold. When it is raining, the animals run through the forest, so we can't see them clearly, but we can watch some of them. The weather cleared and off they go into the wild, splashing through puddles along the way. Surprise, look who's joined the fun. It went very well with the kids, they loved it. They have a lot of fun. They were very excited about the game drive. When you do it, like, show them some legal things. Now, they, they become very happy. As I'll be happy, that's it. In my life, it's been my first time seeing the lion with my nickname. Wow, such an awesome day. Everyone keeps warm around the campfire while song and dance warm the mood. It was very fun, coaching, and I learned more about our community and how to take care of our environment. I learned more about it. About it.
Go to disney.co.za if you want to find out more information about Eco Club.